Halo, selamat datang di Kartini Cita Bangsa. Udah sekian lama kita have our uh, podcast lagi, tapi tidak oh, lama kita ada lagi. Yay. Oh, 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 oh. Dan um, uh, as usual ada uh, Chris Tarsha, Audrey, dan Lia balik. Yay, and our speakers juga hari ini Cindy. Yeah. Um, if you guys sudah follow us, Lia was in our last talk juga. Sekarang uh, di Jakarta di Buran. Dari Oxford, yeah. yep. 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 top 30 Jauh banget, jauh banget Jauh banget, tapi sekarang ya kadang bisa enjoy-enjoy lah ya Makanan yeah. gitu lagi okay. Dan so good, I get yeah. like 6K <laughs> <laughs> Ya, okay, UK makan aja ya Keju, topi <laughs> gitu, gak ada sambut ya And then we have, as usual, Audrey Hi uh, We really need her with our guy out Crash notes and then well, all the question. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm the comedian. <laughs> okay. But first, let me introduce first Sydney. Yay! Hey, oh, oh, oh. He just graduated oh. dari um, Babson, Babson College, Babson College US. Then tema kita hari ini entrepreneurship. And so in this podcast, kita will be talk about journeynya Sydney. Um, gimana dia pilih entrepreneurship dan juga Uh, sampai sekarang bisa sekarang dengan cicinya ya yeah. yeah, minus satu tapi juga even before bisnis ini sini juga menjalankan banyak uh, businesses and organizations and um, it's also very relatable untuk those yang kerja di corporate and entrepreneurship or even for Audrey yang lagi sekarang mencari waktu universiti ya yeah. 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 so that's her graduation dan juga Audrey yang lagi sorry di dulu ada Eliana kali ya sorry Eliana yang lagi sekolah juga gimana untuk mencari ya lah mencari jati diri di during skema kita ya so but first kita lagi start dulu um so sini let's start um gimana kayak sini bisa pilih entrepreneurship because it's such a it's such a niche subject yang biasa orang orang tuh mulai entrepreneurship pas udah udah ngerti nih aku mau apa tapi uh, for you untuk bisa pilih as a major lagi kayak gimana your journey and how did you start lah kayak ya yeah. dia tuh sebenarnya kayak tuh entrepreneurship has always been kayak something yang aku selalu kayak oh ini agak pretty interesting atau kayak trend juga sebenarnya dari dulu saat aku masih kecil gitu ya aku suka main-main kayak pakai duit bohongan gitu kayak jual-jualan I'm sorry you made me want to have the Monopoly but I've always had an interest sih kayak untuk jual-jualan barang and pas aku lagi di middle school aku lihat cici aku yang paling besar yang baru graduate dari college dia bikin di bisnis namanya Love and Flare and through being able to lihat dia kayak beneran actually start her business aku bisa lihat the impact yang dia bisa kasih gitu Kak bisa mikir opportunity gitu untuk employee dan juga mikir orang seneng gitu loh, lewat baju yang dijual. Jadi aku lihat dari dia aku kayak dapat inspirasi gitu kayak if she can do it I can do it too. So that is what made me see kayak rasa kayak oh entrepreneurship seems interesting I wanna try to pursue it. Jadi gitu sih ceritanya mm-hmm. kenapa mau beli Babson. Jadi basically kayak how your family like where your um, even your siblings gitu bener. membentuk lah kayak oh oke okay, aku mau ini gitu iya yeah, benar iya yeah, and I think freedom from your parents too iya kayaknya soalnya ada kasih ya funny story soalnya uh, ibu aku sebenarnya mau kita semua jadi fountain kan ya iya yeah, yeah. yeah. very interesting lah tapi yeah. dari dulu aku nggak pernah suka sih sama yeah. yang mana gitu ya tapi yeah. jadi ya I think entrepreneurship is like a good kayak middle ground gitu untuk kayak passion dan what my mom wants gitu Ya gitu sih ceritanya. Huh. Maybe explain how like Babson helped you in pursuing entrepreneurship. Ya yeah, ya, yeah. jadi ya, untuk yang nggak tahu Babson itu adalah college yang kecil di di dekat luar uh, Boston dan mereka specialize-nya in entrepreneurship. Dan during my time di sana, aku belajar banyak tentang oh bikin bisnis dari nol tuh bagaimana sih, lawan liatin marketing lah, financialnya bagaimana, apa yang itu. Tapi I think dari semuanya yang paling aku belajar dari Babson itu is the entrepreneurial mindset gitu ya dia cara pikirnya bagaimana sih orang entrepreneur lihat opportunity dan bagaimana untuk reaksi gitu kalau ada opportunity I think itu sih yang paling uh, menolong dari Babson kan pola pikir aku jadi beda gitu kan kalau di Babson sih aku bilangnya Bibi, Bibi kasih contoh ya ada oh. 
certain experience enggak? <laughs> ya ya ya. Kayak ada contoh sebenarnya setelah freshman year, kan itu lagi covid ya, lagi baru yang pertama kali. Jadi semua murid di di kick out dari college dan ya. pulang gitu kan ya. So at that time, ya ada lo stress banget at the time. Kalau itu tinggal di luar negeri lagi. Ya, ya, setelah misalnya benar harus Januari ya, setelah Januari. Jadi kayak plannya the whole year kan apa sekolah sampai like August gitu pulang. Ini Januari udah di kick out di kelas bagaimana gitu harus pulang ke rumah gitu ya. Tapi during that time where like banyak uncertainty, itu sebenarnya an example of when aku bisa lihat entrepreneurship pola pikir Bapson itu bagaimana. Was during that time soalnya pas lagi COVID. Semua orang kan kayak nggak boleh keluar ya, harus social distance. Ya, yeah. semuanya di rumah, rasanya kayak bored, nggak bisa apa-apain gitu mm-hmm. kan. Sedap. So kalau di di Boston tuh diajarin kayak gitu, kalau ada problem, find an opportunity mm-hmm. through business to solve that problem gitu. Jadi ya, aku sama best friend aku lihat tuh ada problem kayak orang-orang semua di rumah nggak ada kerjaan, mereka semua bored, kayak sad nggak bisa keluar, sama miss gitu kan nggak bisa travel gitu kan ya. Jadi ya itulah kayak dari website pikir oke okay, what can we do to solve this gitu. Jadi mm. our way was through art gitu. Jadi aku bikin nih bisnis namanya paintbar.co mm. yang jual travel team paint kits gitu. Dan kita beran bikin travel team dan orang rasa kayak wah kalau aku lagi chat aku rasanya kayak di Venice, aku rasanya di Paris kayak gitu sih. Yeah. Kan berat marketingnya semua kayak gitu. So I hope that's a good example of like Babson really teaches you. Pokoknya kalau ada problem, you solve it lah. There's something to it. Make it an opportunity for you. Gitu sih. Very hands on juga ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah benar benar. Yeah. So in Babson, you had a few internship experiences. Yes. Do you want to talk about how that helped you start your own business? Yeah. So sebenarnya aku mulai bisnis sebelum aku did all of that internship jadi yeah. actually my first work experience ya yeah. jadi ya yeah, paint bar paint bar benar mm-hmm. so it taught me a lot kayak honestly I think from all my internships itu sih yang paling ajarin aku kayak bikin bisnis tuh bikin apa yeah. tapi other than that aku setelah itu in the following years uh, aku intern di two Y Combinator startups di mm-hmm. Singapura sama di San Francisco dan di sana aku belajar sih kayak bagaimana sih kerja sama orang yang dari beda beda negara lah, hmm. beda time zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Di sana jam jam tiga pagi aku kerja untuk Singapore time zone kayak gitu kan. <laughs> Tapi jadi belajar kayak gitu sih. Yeah. And other than that intern- internship, uh, my last internship was in Google as a marketing associate di YouTube. Mm-hmm. Dan yeah. di sana lah aku kayak belajar sih kayak marketing untuk a big company itu bagaimana. Mm-hmm. Uh, jadi itu belajar a lot about like time management. Terus juga kayak very strategic thinking sih aku bilang sih dari internship itu sama ya belajar banyak karena stressnya juga banyak itu <laughs> yang ada tapi ya di luar itu juga high pressure banget high yeah. pressure banget soalnya yeah. terus yuk soalnya juga standarnya kan tinggi ya aku yeah. juga standar for myself juga tinggi yeah. itu bikin stress tapi sebenarnya from what you ask me like what lesson gitu ya yeah. actually from all those internships I realized kayak oh maybe corporate and like startup maybe it's like not the path for me gitu loh kayak working underneath somebody maybe it's not the path for me mm-hmm. jadi ya sebenarnya all of those experience led me to where I am today yeah. jadi kayak mulai bisnis sama cici aku gitu sih ya yeah. uh-uh. okay um, so I think now that kayak you have worked in the corporate and then now udah kerja entrepreneurship So can you like let our viewers know okay the pros and cons lah on yeah. the entrepreneurship dan corporate because of course di setiap kerjaan ya pasti ada pros and cons so, dari sana kita juga lihat oh aku better di mana jadi kayak help by our viewers kayak to know oh okay what fits me gitu okay benar banget benar banget and I think there's definitely kita kan semua apa orang-orang yang beda-beda ya interestnya ya. ada yang kayak Kristasha yang supaya di corporate <laughs> <laughs> ada <Dada> sendiri ya predator punya kayak each job benar ada pros yeah, yeah. nya yeah. aku bilang sih untuk entrepreneurship I'll start with the pros ya yeah, yeah. kayak kayak berlebihannya apa sih aku bilang berlebihannya satu ya jamnya fleksibel maksudnya mm-hmm. semuanya tuh on you ya on you are team jadi ya emang you have to be disciplined jadi you bisa gitu sih tapi yeah. also a pro soalnya kan kalau kerja di corporate kan ada specific time gitu. Iya, yeah, yeah. Liburnya juga ada specific yeah. kan ya. So that's like sampai enggak buru aja dibayar. Iya, benar. Aku udah sales kan. Iya, benar. Aku sampai tidur ya. Udah, sayangnya juga enggak. Benar. Jadi itu certain pro-nya tuh more freedom and flexibility apa bilangnya. Yeah. Mm. Tapi upon as well as like stability-nya ya kurang gitu. Maksudnya mm. the business is really your baby itu yo harus yeah. beneran 
you know if you don't do, if you don't work on it ya yeah, enggak yeah. bagus gitu loh iya yeah. dan juga of course you corporate juga harus kerja keras of yeah. course tapi kan tuh kan misalnya gaji gitu kan iya yeah. ada stable nah, i think kalau in corporate kayak let's say gak boleh malas tapi ya malas ya gaji masih ada lah ya <laughs> ya kalau in entrepreneur kita malas loh kok sales nya lurus <laughs> gitu betul ya kayak benar hmm. your your impact gitu tuh enak yeah. small business ya yeah. You know, I mean, you put a hundred, yeah, 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 Another pro berlebihannya satu itu adalah you get to pursue idea kamu kayak from from just an idea to something real and I think yeah. untuk for me sih sebikin seneng ya. Yeah, Saka- I think the accomplishment kayak benar kus you really work hard for it and then you accomplish it. Iya yeah, benar. Yeah, benar. Jadi itu kayak aku sih suka ya kayak have the responsibility kayak yeah. bikin something yang impactful tuh bikin aku lebih seneng. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like it's good. That's good. You mentioned working with your sister. How yeah. how is that like? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, and then I see anyone else. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you're under your sister, kerja liat balik rumah juga liat. Oh, betul lah. Bangat twenty four seven with my sister. Oh, bosan dia. Oh, bosan itu ada tu in bosan. Kayak ini itu sebenarnya kalau kerja itu sebenarnya kita juga sendiri sendiri sih. Kayak kalau kita kayak setiap hari twenty four seven, aduh, kayak nggak memarah, nggak banget irritated lah. Ya, soalnya. So psychology juga masih lihat dia lah gitu apa saya katanya. Tapi I think ya yeah, again pros and cons ya of working with like a sister gitu atau a best friend. Uh, tapi ya yeah, apa what is the question again? What were the yeah, challenges? Sort of <laughs> challenge is it? Challenge is it? Challenge is it? Satu susah kayak bordernya tuh apa sih kayak what is the line between me as like a sister and me as a business partner? Yeah. Aku dengar tuh susah banget. Nomor satu tuh kayak perlu banyak waktu untuk kayak figure out how to work as a business partner gitu ya yeah. soalnya kayak for example Cece aku tuh 4 tahun lebih uh, older ya yeah. jadi aku gak pernah tuh kayak kerja sama dia di sekolah gak pernah tau gak sih yeah. yeah. gak ada experience sama sekali jadi dia tuh perlu banyak patience and time and effort gitu tuh like work together well gitu sih aku bilang sih and another challenge ya gampang aku bilang agak susah sih jadi kayak professional gitu yeah. professional relationship again something to build and mm. ya sih kayak harus ya jangan emosi gitu oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. logic nih yeah. gitu sih saya bilang sih yang paling susah working with a star yeah, itu si. separate professional problem from yeah. personal problem ya I think I realize also because like in corporate gitu kan kayak ada rules kayak oh let's say kalau ada relationship kalau marriage itu nggak boleh di satu tim And yeah, sometimes uh, even worse, nggak boleh tuan peni. Teman kadang aku lebih open, tapi ada one thing kayak nggak boleh satu tim. Soalnya nama tu ada conflict of interest, ada there's personal and then bang. And then now is your beneran kayak wow, we need to set the boundaries gitu. Bener banget. Kayak maksudnya work relationshipnya jadi kau ambil juga kayak lo personal relationshipnya. Yeah, ni stuff. Just kayak relating to that. Gimana cara kayak soalnya right now you kerjanya di rumah kan? Oh, 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 definitely. Jadi How do you do you like think about it all the time? How do you let your friends know? Gimana ya? Bener banget. I think susah sih kayak not let it like consume you or like not think about it. Yeah, especially karena aku di bisnis aku cuma atau sama my sister saat dua kan ya. Jadi ya, yeah, I'm under a lot to think about gitu loh di bisnis. Emang selalu ada problem, ada something yang selalu harus di improve gitu sih. Jadi emang it does it does consume a lot in my head. Tapi I think What I realized dari Google, karena pas aku ni internship di Google tu, aku cuma pikirnya kerja 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 kerja, sampai tidur juga kerja, bangun juga langsung kerja. Iya. Kayak aku jadi burnt out. Dah akhirnya malah aku worknya nak optimal. Jadi yang lewat dari internship actually, aku belajar how do I keep a pretty good like work life balance ya. Itu saya itu. Jadi ya, ya emang harus ini batasin. Kalau untuk aku aku batasin ya. Saturday Sunday ya udah jangan pikir tentang work. Monday ya udah gas gitu. Oh iya dia ada kalau boleh gas setiap hari. Oh iya. Not bad. Iya. Pikirannya. Tapi do you set kayak work hours for yourself sometimes? Ya jadi untuk aku tu aku ada rutin dari kayak jam aku selalu bangun sebelum jam delapan. Pokoknya jam sembilan dah langsung kerja gitu ya. Aku biasa sampai dari jam sembilan sampai jam enam. Tapi ada breaks of course ada lunch and dinner. Tapi udah itu aja sih. Aku coba setiap hari on that. On that timeline, but karena aku 
uh, timnya cuma aku sama my sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course there are times that you have to work. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. in entrepreneurship, you should expect to work outside yeah, the yeah. work hours. That yeah, yeah, yeah. Kayak yeah. yeah. misalnya kalau ada order jam 11 malam, I will pack it and order it. Gitu lah. Yeah. Jadi yeah. Yeah. kalau perlu, yeah, I will. Gitu. And jadi sekarang uh, your company, you're making heels, right? Mm-hmm. So like you mentioned, you're packing it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Jadi sekarang kayak online doal apa like one or two mm-hmm. logistics of running your Yeah, nice. yeah, jadi itu something yang harus belajar juga. Jadi kita sekarang jual di e-commerce kayak di Tokopedia mm. uh, dan di WhatsApp. Trying to be di Shopee next month. Hopefully, jadi kita coba-coba lah ya. Dan dan juga di Love and Flair, uh, which is a clothing brand ya. Yeah. Uh, tapi kita juga baru this month kita masukin ke physical store Love and Flair. Jadi itu saya semuanya. Ya coba-coba aja sih gitu sih. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dari sana juga so, pasti logis intinya. Lebih complicated lagi, benar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why sekarang kita belum ada Shopee. Soalnya, mm. honestly ya, yeah, you have to. There's a lot of things to figure out lah. Misalkan, one problem is like, oh, taro stoknya di mana nih? Yeah. Customer you di mana gitu kan? Stoknya yeah. cuma ada sepuluh. Kalau saya taro lima di sini, ntar yang ini kurang. Yeah. Tapi juga something to think about is that each channel has different commissions gitu ya. Jadi ya, pokoknya that's basically it's like five jobs in one ya. Yeah. My point is a lot of things to think about. <laughs> more not gitu sih ya. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack a bit yeah. to when you start, when you first started your company. Mm. What were the challenges in it, and why did you choose to start your own heels company? Why yeah. heels? Yeah. Jadi ya, untuk kalau talk context, ini sebenarnya my, the company itu bukan aku yang mulain. Jadi yang mulain tuh cece aku dua tahun lalu. Tapi dia saat aku udah graduate dari Babson. She was planning to close it. Dia udah mau deal with it. It's been on a six month hiatus. Terus jadi apa yang gangguan untuk enam bulan. Uh, tapi aku bilang to my sister, kita let's not end this. Let's continue it. And the reason why is because I think that there's potential. Karena produknya bagus. In my opinion, yeah. Nat. Um, sorry, can you tell me your question again? Like, what were the challenges and like restarting that business? Oh, yeah, she yeah. been on a hiatus for six. Yeah, yeah. I think banyak challenge ya. Challenge yang pertama adalah honestly like. There were so many things to figure out. Kayak pertama, yeah. who is our audience? Itu aja kita nggak tahu. Kayak the our women, our target marketnya nggak ada gitu kan. Second is like sekarang tuh marketnya udah saturated. Bagaimana sih kita bikin beda gitu ya? Yeah. Can we stand against the competition? Yeah, oke. Okay. Yeah. And like third is just like oh kita udah desain produknya udah tua. Bagaimana kita bikin yang baru? Kayak gitu sih. There's like so many things to think about on this. Yeah. In terms of like. What will make this business stand out? And I think that's the first problem, sih. Kayak mm. kita bagaimana? How do we make this special? Gitu sih. I think that's the biggest challenge. I see. And I think also, kayak when it comes to fashion, mau itu sepatu, mm-hmm. baju, accessories, apa. There's also kayak shelf life and fashion. Bener. Bener. Jadi kayak Bener. we have to think about. Masa kalau oh ini is trendy now, tapi dipikir pikir nanti kalau wah tiga lima bulan lagi, kalau ini enggak kesel, nanti jualnya mau gimana? Gitu lah. Bener banget. I feel like this is you by a order because you said that it's about the end of the audio. No, 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 no Social manager, social media manager, operations, apa? And then now you and you and your sister bener everything, yeah. everything bener. Terus yeah, how do you divide the work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jadi itu on our first month, we were both doing everything. Kayak lah ada division. That's why susah. That's why susah. That's why I realized on the second month, okay, cah, we need to have a serious discussion. Nah, kita bagi tugasnya bagaimana? Soalnya yeah. kalau nggak dibagi divisi, kita punya otak tuh kayak yeah. our own minion itu tuh kayak passing gitu loh, kayak. Misalkan, oh dibilang shoe ini bagus, tapi apa ya, hmm, kurang gitu atau nggak marketingnya? Ya ini nggak yang gitu, yeah. gitu loh sal, mm-hmm. masih kan ya, jadi nggak yeah. efficient. Jadinya sekarang itu kita divisinya, aku yang marketing, aku yang hold everything marketing and sales. Jadi ya semua Tokopedia, inventory managementnya di mana aku mm-hmm. sama get the audience itu aku gitu ya. Mm-hmm. Operations is me and my sister. Jadi kayak packing itu kita ganti gantian. Mm-hmm. Tapi my sister fokusnya on design karena dia dia sebenarnya yang fashion girly, aku wow. fashion girly. Uh, uh, jadi dia yang design sepatu yeah. sa, sama dia yang work with suppliers and finance. Jadi kita kayak baginya kayak gitu sih. Di panel okay, okay. 
So as an entrepreneurship kind of salah salah tantangan itu funding, especially like being a startup. So like, did you encounter any challenges in funding your own business? Yeah. Does it like scare you? That yeah, yeah. Your cash flow can like run out at some time. So true. I think yes. For for your first question about like funding. Yeah. Honestly, like I'm lucky enough. Aku bisa pakai tabungan aku sendiri. Yeah. Aku pakai my sister punya own tabungan ya. Yeah. Kita nggak minta dari kita punya parents. And tapi aku bilang itu juga privilege to be yeah. able to have that tabungan aku. Uh, tapi I think it's definitely serem. Yeah. Serem banget. I think that's one of the discussion that we had very long about. Kayak ini duit kita mau. How much are we willing to invest up yeah. front? Gitu sih. Mm. Sebenarnya tuh aku juga konservatif sama duit gitu aja. Aku takut yeah. taruh duit kalau aku nggak tahu bisa return atau enggak. Yeah. Tapi my sister said, honestly, kalau you mau grow a business, you emang have to be ready to back up some money gitu loh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kayak and I think it's just yeah, you have to have that trust. You have to have that mindset of you will make it work no matter what. Gitu. Yeah. And basically, kalau you taruh kayak 10 juta, uh-huh. terus you dapat 100 shoes gitu ya misalkan yeah. ya. Yeah. Kalau nggak ada demand, ya yeah, you make that demand. You have to, you just you have to do it gitu loh. Jadi kayak gitu sih otaknya sih kayak if you're scared ya nggak apa-apa coba pikirin aja talk with your partner atau you know like what are you comfortable with yeah but also see like okay like stretch it a bit and work hard jadi itu yang bisa dapat return sih aku bilang sih otaknya I think harus kayak gitu soalnya kalau you're not willing to spend money then like inventory you tuh bisa too little gitu loh kayak yeah. it's not a business if you don't have any product to sell oh, yeah you yeah. ya jadinya ya kayak gitu sih pikirannya kayak just have to be willing to spend a little money mm-hmm. and just make it worth it gitu sih just work like very hard to make it worth it gitu sih ya mm-hmm. and if you don't have money up front then how would mm-hmm. you say yeah yeah i can get around that i think definitely look at different business model ya kalau, kalau kita tuh kan shoes jadi emang perlu duit up front untuk produksi dulu ya mm-hmm. tapi there are other business models seperti pre-order mm-hmm. so let's say you made like this this quote ya yeah. you made this quote yeah. desainnya tapi lu enggak tahu nih you takut you baru pertama kali masuk bisnis enggak tahu mau jual berapa you udah then make the sample first mm-hmm. take a photo of it terus you bikin a marketing campaign dulu with this terus you udah when you launch buka pre order untuk 14 hari sebenarnya tuh orang okay with pre orders gitu soalnya kita di Monro mm-hmm. juga do pre orders kan ya yeah. people are fine with pre orders and the good thing about pre orders is that you don't need to have like a lot of upfront money gitu loh jadi yeah. kalau pre-order kan Kristasha mau beli yaudah Kristasha kasih aku dulu duitnya yeah. aku badan dari nah. dia big love buat iya yeah, yeah. untuk buat more yeah. yeah. jadi aku bilang there's always a way sih kayak to figure things out mm-hmm. gitu loh yeah. so my advice is to look at like different business models and like think gitu loh kayak yeah. maybe you can dump a pre-order system first until you build that customer base gitu sih uh-huh. jadi from before you even start you need to already start thinking, oh okay, what are the probably the challenges that he faces in mana gitu untuk hal yeah, that gitu. yeah, you just have to kayak keep on solving sih, I'm gonna be honest sih kalau ada problem, like are, you're scared about something rather than like letting it scare you from doing what you wanna do like then just think of the actions that you can do gitu sih I had a question, like mm-hmm. uh, w- how do you set up a business? Kalo, kayaknya uh, do you have to get register PT yeah. or gimana yeah. gitu? Yes, you do. You need to register a PT and you can also trademark the name sih. Yeah. So those are like two things. And honestly, sebenarnya kan enggak enggak susah to do it. You yeah. can always kayak um hire juga somebody. I think it doesn't take a lot of money jadi ya. Kalau misalkan you want to trademark your name gitu ya. Itu sebenarnya yeah. ada service yang can do it for you for 4 mil, which is 4 juta. Jadi ya sebenarnya enggak yeah. segede banget gitu. Yeah. And juga ada service yang juga bisa Kayak you can hire untuk bikin your sefer gitu, which is your company. Mm-hmm. Jadi there's always, I think whenever there's a problem, selalu ada solusinya. Mm-hmm. Kalau you don't have the money upfront to do it, you bisa research sendiri on how to do it gitu sih. Sekarang kita, I think, are pretty lucky to like live in a digital yeah. world, ya. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Cari aja gitu. Actually, in which, um, speaking of the funding itu baru, baru banget. After we had our talk last and uh, next, uh, the next week, my uh, my friend online menang di Indo kayak ada entrepreneurship, new entrepreneurship uh, funding dari government <laughs> and he he managed to, he won second place lah, he won second place but he managed to, itu, get funding for his kayak GPS wow. Wow. yes, wow. apa, kayak that's very IT <laughs> kayak GPS tracking gitu yeah, yeah. terus kayak, um, in pros and cons kan, karena gitu kan, karena wah, and this funding juga, oh I need to think, mau mulai dari mana dulu, money-nya oh. from there, ya, yeah. terus 
Aku tanya another friend juga ini dia malah borrow from the from the dad. Uh-huh. Tapi kok sama dad setiap bulan setiap minggu dad salesnya gimana? Salesnya wow. dia every month. Dia juga harus of course pay back and pay back slowly apa. Jadi bilang my assets is also a part of it. Tapi I think that is a risk as you're talking about pros and cons at the risk yang lain duit. Iya itu. You might need to spend more and not get a salary in gitu sih. Iya iya iya. Ya kan. Okay, so looking forward, what do you hope your what impact do you hope that your business will make? Yeah, definitely. So, sebenarnya to give you guys some context, so sebenarnya I'm also surprised aku di fashion karena I think my time in college itu aku tuh kayak dress up tuh kayak tomboy banget, enggak pernah pikirin kayak baju. Iya, aku tuh kalau pakai baju atau pakai shoes, pakai heels yang just comfortable. Iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Tapi kalau lagi Wajarnya dingin-dingin, <laughs> dingin-dingin udah aku pakai this body, this body hair, gitu pakai kacamata ya, yeah, yeah. whatever. Tapi I think kayak with Monroe, kayak the the impact that I hope to to give is that fashion is one of the ways that kita bisa express ourselves, gitu ya. Mm-hmm. And for me personally, when I use clothes yang kayak make me feel good, yeah. like I feel more confident, gitu yeah. ya. Mm-hmm. And like jadi aku like when I present myself to the world, aku jadi lebih kayak energetic, lah, lebih kayak senang and like mm-hmm. just. Or more pleasurable to be around with, gitu. yeah, yeah. And that's I think that confidence and like wanting people to, you know, find their style, find something that makes them feel happy, mm-hmm. is like what I want to achieve with Monroe. Karena aku tuh orangnya masih start trying to figure out my style actually, guys. Jadi yeah. aku tuh lagi in my own style journey. Mm-hmm. So with Monroe tuh, our goal is not to just have shoes, yeah, not mm-hmm. to just have heels. Mm-hmm. Tapi tuh kayak ada baju, ada accessories, gitu sih. Jadi ya, the goal is to not just be a heel business, but it is to be like a one-stop shop, gitu sih. Mm-hmm. Gitu sih, jadi ya, with everything we do in the business, aku mau coba yang bisa tolong empower, kayak bikin orang yeah. wanted, yeah. gitu sih. Are you wearing one of the heels today? I am, but it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> we will put it in the video. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I Okay. Do you have any final tips for um, our audience who are thinking of starting their own business or who is trying to find their passion in life, especially in the business industry? I think advice is not enough. If you're feeling lost right now, kaya, trust me, I've been there. I was very lost too. I think just have the courage untuk coba coba aja gitu. Yeah. Kaya, honestly, you will not know you mau do apa unless you're willing to try out different things gitu sih mm-hmm. Manila and in terms of starting your own business honestly I, if you're scared that it's gonna be hard or if there's risk let me just tell you everything is actually quite difficult you kerja di corporate susah you begin mm-hmm. business susah honestly choose your heart gitu sih yeah. I, I mean, yeah. it's difficult just follow what you feel like you can put more energy in what makes yeah. you feel energized when you work gitu sih aku yeah. sih and like for beginner starters for a, a business You don't have to know everything, kayak to the T, gitu loh. Kayak harus yeah. tahu customer aku adalah male, 50, gitu kayak everything. I'm not, not yeah. really tahu. Yeah. You just have to start. Just start. Yeah. So you just learn start. along the way. Yeah. Itu siapa bilang sih, kayak yeah. just do it. Gitu loh, right? uh, uh, yeah. You find a new local, new slogan. Can we just say, just start? <laughs> yeah, just start. Yeah, kayak lah. You can just do it. Yeah, can just start. Just do it. Yeah, I'll send you Jerry. Itu sih. Yeah, honestly. You will be fine. Just yeah. go for it and just learn every step. Kalau ada failure, nggak apa-apa. Belajarin aja di sukses. Gitu sih aku dalam segi. Wah, that's very inspiring. Now you're twenty two, ya? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dulu ni ni tu masih kan? Masih dulu. Kalau ini, kalau tidak ada, ya, 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 ya,
what they want in life tapi juga also kayak the drive gitu and yeah. Uh, yeah. we're so very well at the yeah. <laughs> we're playing that song yeah, no, 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 no. I won't let to be here that was yeah. starstruck yeah no, well, no, 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 she's my junior okay, what? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, crazy, crazy. I don't know why you're going to I mean my world and thinking yeah. so you guys <laughs> I think it's very reassuring for me as a student who's applying for uni, just like seeing you go through all that failures, but still rise up from those challenges. So I think I, I don't, sh- I shouldn't be worried and nervous for uni and you just said, uh, and yeah. And yeah. Uni is a great time. 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 Uni And I went to Babson because I had a scholarship too. But ternyata that was the best thing that happened for me. Honestly, I pulled out the best people and learned the best thing. Jadi, with why? Makanya gitu loh. Kayak if something though doesn't work out, nggak apa-apa. Please, lanjutin aja gitu. It might be a bad day to her. I don't know. 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 It's not mistakes, but it's a and to the world. The detour. The Bob Ross. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, what? 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 Happy accident. Hey, happy accident. Yeah, happy accident. Happy accident. It's some blessing in disguise. Yeah, and wrong about that wings. This very yeah. true. Yes, yeah. Okay. Um. Thank you so much, Sydney, for today's podcast. Um. I think even the viewers too. If you just get what. Yeah. Uh, also, a sort of like a stepping stone now yeah. mm-hmm. in their entrepreneur journey. Okay, once you want to start, and um, we'll end our podcast today. And thank you again for watching, and please do follow us in Katinita. Yes, follow them. Yes, Hello, and then on the start too. Oh yeah, Instagram now and one rule store. It's I just see F O N R U E store. That's crazy. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Sing the song.